Small cars need to be more than just easy to park and cheap to buy and run. They also have to be good to drive, they have to be reasonably practical, they've got to come with the latest gadgets, and they should look good as well. I mean, look, this one has a roof spoiler. With that in mind, here are the Car Buy Top 10 Best Small Cars. At number 10 is the Citroen DS3. It's the more stylish cousin to the C3 and is better to drive as well as to look at. Trouble is, it's relatively expensive and only available as a three-door. In ninth place is the Hyundai i20. With best-in-class passenger and boot space, there's a lot to like about the i20. Well, apart from the weak engines and the fact only one model emits less than 100 grams per kilometre of carbon dioxide. At number 8 is the Suzuki Swift. This cheap and cheerful Japanese Super Mini comes with plenty of kit and is fun to drive. However, the Swift has a small boot, is noisy at speed and feels a bit budget inside. Seventh is the Renault Clio. With five-door practicality but three-door style, the Clio not only looks good, it's also good to drive and economical. Shame about the interior quality and cramped rear seats. At number six is the Seat Ibiza. The Spanish Super Mini has been around for a while now, but it's a smart looking thing and it's good fun to drive. Unfortunately, it's a little bit cramped in the back and the ride can be a bit firm. In fifth place is the Peugeot 208. Here's more proof that the French build stylish small cars. The 208 looks just as good on the inside, though annoyingly the steering wheel obscures the dials and rivals a little bit better to drive. Fourth is the mini hatch. Distinctive looks, a high quality cabin, efficient engines and go-kart handling are things that appeal about the Mini. What doesn't is its firm suspension, cramped rear seats, small boot and expensive options. At number three, it's the Kia Rio. This Super Mini is spacious, well equipped, stylish and cheap to buy and to run. Thing is, the Rio feels cheap on the inside and it's slow and a bit boring to drive. Second place goes to the Ford Fiesta. Great to drive, cheap to run and good to look at. The Ford Fiesta is a superb super mini. It would be perfect too, if only it had a bigger boot and more room in the back seats. Okay, so that's our countdown almost complete, but which car is at number one? Well, I can reveal that the car buyer best small car is the Volkswagen Polo. Now the Polo has always been a great all-rounder that's just that little bit posher than its main rivals and some recent updates have enabled it to take the top spot in this countdown. It's got some new more economical engines which make it even cheaper to run. It's had a slight refresh at the front and the back and so yeah it looks nice and sharp. They've also altered the suspension so it drives even better than before and you can get it with VW's latest entertainment system and safety systems. And while it's certainly not the cheapest car in the class, it is definitely the most grown up and that's why it's the car buyer best small car. Click on the video windows to see our top 10 countdown of the best family cars or our top 10 countdown of the most reliable cars or click on the play icon for our very latest video.